Hey guys. I mean, nothing super profound. Um, I am just like, my mind is in the past. It's in the future. I keep like retrospect, like what happened? How did that go? Was it something from me? Was it something from them? Meanwhile, in the future, I'm like, I have to get this done. I have to prepare for this. I need to make sure this is going on so I can have this in the future. And honestly, the only thing that I have is right now. <laughs> is the present moment. That's it. So this is the interesting thing is it's who I like choose to be in this moment. Who Eleanor is at in the present is dictating the future and it's also putting a lens on the past right so when i say putting a lens oh okay we're good putting a lens on the past what i mean is the perspective of who i want to be right now is going to have a different angle on what happened to me yesterday on what happened to me last week on who so and so is on what job i had then all of that changes from who I am in this present moment. And the present is, once again, obviously, in each moment. And the decision and autonomy to be who you want to be, to feel how you want to feel, is given to you in each moment. But it is just like a really interesting thing that I'm being reminded today is, is that my future is as malleable as my present moment, but so is my past, right? Like how I see it, how I view what I choose to bring with me, what I choose to hold on to, and how it's affecting me now. It's not how it's affecting me now, it's who I am here that's affecting the past, how I view it, what angle I see it from. Does that make sense? Um, yes, because you can get so lost in the sauce in either direction, it is like fucking wild. And it dictates how I feel in the present moment. And I'm like, wait a second, I can't use a reference point for something that's not happening right now to dictate and influence who I am and how I feel right now. Like, that's insanity, right? But we do it all the time. I do it all the time. But that's not the power of influence. That's not, once again, the attention. Like, where it's, where attention goes, energy flows. What you give your attention to is what you give power to that's what you give life to so the moment like the present is actually what is going to have more power and influence on both directions the future and the past but it's just like this constant reminding this constant remembering um yeah i was gonna i feel like everyone and every spiritual teacher is saying that in their own way and it's just clearly something I need constant reminders. <laughs> and so um, I just wanted to share that. But like the power is the present moment because it's what it dictates who you are, which is going to influence your future. But then it's also going to put a different light and lens on the past. And um, that's what you need to be grounded, to be rooted and to take the tools that you've already have, the knowing knowledge and wisdom that's been done to move into the future. But in order to do that, you can't be in any place and you can't use those as a reference points for right now. Right now is the reference point for either place. Okay.